The following is a reading from a significant quantum physicist named Federico Fagan, who invented the microprocessor that makes all of this possible. And in early 1990, he had an intense enlightenment experience that changed his view of reality, including physics, forever. Here it is. My awakening experience has already been described in my autobiography, entitled Silicon, From the Invention of the Microprocessor to the New Science of Consciousness, first published in Italy in 2019 and in 2021 in the US. For the convenience of the reader, I report the experience below with minimal changes. In December 1990, while at Lake Tahoe, California with my family during Christmas, I woke up around midnight thirsty, poured myself a glass of water, and while sipping it, moved into the adjacent living room to contemplate the lake, now dark and mysterious. I went back to bed, and while I was waiting for sleep to return, I suddenly felt a powerful rush of energy emerge from my chest like nothing I had ever experienced before and could not even imagine possible. This alive energy was love, yet a love so intense and so incredibly fulfilling that it surpassed any other notion previously had about love. Even more surprising was the fact that the source of this love was me. I experienced it as a broad beam of shimmering white light, alive and beatific, gushing from my heart with incredible strength. Then suddenly, that light exploded, filled the room and expanded to embrace the entire universe with the same white brilliance. I knew then, without a shadow of doubt, that this was a substance out of which everything that exists is made. This was what created the universe out of itself. Then, with immense surprise, I realized that I was that light. The whole experience lasted perhaps a minute, and it changed me forever. My relationship with the world had always been as a separate observer, perceiving the universe outside myself and, and disconnected from me. What made this event astonishing was its impossible perspective. because I was both the experiencer and the experience. I was simultaneously the observer of the world and the world. I was the world observing itself. And I was concurrently knowing that the world is made of a substance that feels like love and that I am that. In other words, the essence of reality was revealed to be a substance that knows itself by self-reflection, and its self-knowing is experienced as a, an irrepressible and dynamic love full of joy and peace. This experience contained an unprecedented force of truth because it felt true at all levels of my being. At the physical level, my body was alive and vibrant, like I had never felt before. At the emotional level, I perceived myself as an impossibly powerful source of love. And at the mental level, I knew with certainty that everything is made of love. For the first time in my life, I had experienced the existence of another dimension of reality, a dimension that previously could only be known intellectually by reading about it, but not by living it. The spiritual level in which a person is one with the world. It was a form of direct knowing stronger than the certainty offered by logic. 
a knowledge from the inside rather than the outside, which simultaneously involved all aspects of my consciousness, the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels. I like to think that I have experienced my nature both as a particle and as a wave. To use an analogy with quantum physics that is impossible to comprehend with ordinary logic, the particle aspect was the ability to maintain my identity despite experiencing myself as the world, the wave aspect. But my identity was also part of the world because I felt myself to be the world with my point of view. Now I think that my identity is like one of the infinite points of view with which one, the totality of what exists, observes and knows itself. In other words, each one of us is a point of view of one, a part of one, indivisible from it, that contains its essence and as such is eternal. That experience made me understand that as the famous Lebanese aphorist Khalil Gibran said, spiritual awakening is the most essential thing in human life. It is the only purpose of existence.